Hello, today's video was about a patient, a promo, a pastime and party planning and a bit of a love story. Today's forecast in the Gold Coast Hinsland, cloudy with a chance of I'm tired. How are conditions this morning, Christopher? <laughs> Wet and cold. Honour is the better part of valour this morning. Yeah. Too much cloud. Yeah. Too dangerous. So we're going home. Yeah. Thank God. Rule number one, if you ever want to join a cycling group, never turn up with a dirty bike. Yes, yeah. 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 Wedding planning. The manager and I like to do our wedding planning in public, because then we have to remain civil to each other. First chore this morning is to pick up some stuff for an auntie who's in hospital. Just driving through Surface Paradise, I was actually here a few days for a work thing which I'd like to show you now. Well this is something new, we're doing a promo shoot on the beach in Surface Paradise, wearing a suit which isn't very sensible. While the boys are uh, doing another setup down there, I just want to show you how skillful these guys are. Yeah, we call foot volley. Quite popular in Brazil, all over Brazil. So no hands, just feet and hands? Yeah, no hands. It's almost the same of beach volley. I mean, I can do that as well. I just said I'm wearing a suit. Well, that's a wrap. So you didn't, you didn't put money in your, did you put money in as well? Mark, thanks for all your efforts coming down from <laughs> Brisbane to shoot that promo. I'd like to reward you with a parking uh, ticket. Thanks very much, Tom. That was an honour. Let's resume normal service now. Just to my auntie's house to pick up some stuff to take to her at the hospital. You can't come in because that would be a breach of her privacies. Now we're at the hospital and once again, you're not welcome. Why are you a pack there? Let's get a PlayStation. How old are you? 46. Get out. Ciao. Man child. Don't you judge me. The manager is obsessed with that silly game Fortnite. He plays it on his iPad, but that's not good enough apparently, so now he's had to go and buy a PlayStation. Grow up. This is what happens. He gets obsessed with something, does it for three or four days, then moves on to the next thing. You are judging me, aren't you? Oh, look who's home. Yeah, I'll be in lockdown for the next thousand hours anyway, so. Just to give you an update on our old house at Redcliffe, we actually found tenants this week. A nice lady and her child are moving in there. So that's an update on that one.
Remember this morning how I was telling you about never having a dirty bike when you ride? We used to call people with dirty bikes DBCs, which is dirty bike cyclists. It's story time. We're going to talk about how we met. Yeah. Okay, so it was 20 years ago and I had been out for about six months but hadn't really made any good friends in the gay community. So I rang an old schoolmate and I said, uh, I need some friends. And he said, well, come and hang out with my crew and went out to dinner and guess who was part of his crew? And I was quite smitten, I'll be honest. Um, Good looking rooster. So we met in a gay bar. Met in a gay bar. Yeah, it's classless, I know. Yeah. And we started basically just hanging out as mates, didn't we? We'd go and play pool, we'll have a meal at a surf club. And probably we were friends for a couple of months. Probably I think six it was, weeks. Something. Six weeks before we crossed that line. And um, yeah, and I'd actually, I didn't think he, I thought he liked me as a friend, but I didn't think it was anything more than that. So we started going out, and then six weeks later we moved in together. And everyone was saying, don't do it, it's a disaster. And but I don't know, we just knew, didn't we? We thought, oh, bugger it, we'll just do it. So I was living above a tile shop in Bundle and you asked if you could leave your swag at my place. Mm -hmm. And you never used the swag. <laughs> do you remember the first night though, that night at the Wickham? Yep, you're wearing this really cheap polyester blue <laughs> shirt from like Jeans West. I something. thought I looked good, yeah, short sleeves. <clears throat> was a good looking. Yeah, but that was back in the 90s and everyone was wearing cheap polyester short sleeve shirts and I thought I looked pretty good in those days. So that's the story, that's how we met. Uh, before we go today, let me just reiterate that uh, if you like these videos and you want us to keep doing them, like, subscribe, comment. Comment. We'll get it right one day. See you later. See ya.